What? <laughs> Hi, I'm Aki. I'm in Malis, who is a school teacher living in a small village in Japan. Recently, I started a new experiment picking up trash along the road for the last 66 days. It's said that Japan is relatively beautiful and clean place, but is that really true? What kind of garbage is thrown on the road the most in Japan? Today, I'd like to share the results after these 66 days. Rule. Pick up one piece of trash on the road per day. Hi, good morning. So this is the first day of collecting garbage. So this day first item, it's a bottle. I'm gonna throw away uh, garbage and this box. Bye bye. The reason I started this challenge was because I just wanted to clean up the road and area I live in. I get up at 5 a.m. every morning and walk or run outside. Since I'm always running, I was really bothered by the amount of trash I would see on the road. Hi, I'm here! Yay! If the roads became cleaner, I would feel better, and also the villages would become clean as well, which is really nice. So I started this challenge. The reason why the challenge is 66 days is because the number 66 has special meaning in Japan. Which means to let go of one's obsession with things. I'm a minimalist, so I thought that these days were perfect. I always pick one piece of trash and fill in a spreadsheet along the category and what I picked up that today. Three things that I learned collecting garbage. While picking up better things, I noticed three things. First, you can find interesting things scattered around. Not just cans and bottles, but blankets, golf balls, and even mysterious drinks. Here is what it looks like when you smell it. I, 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 I want to check this. Oh my god. Smell. Oh. <coughs> <clears throat> Shit. Bye -bye. It smells so rotten, I shouldn't have opened it. And the most shocking thing was this bottle of Mamushi Zake, which is snake sake. I talk about how I find it later in this video. Second, trash is good at hiding. For example, when it snows. This challenge actually started around the fall of last year and I was picking up trash every day. However, when it started to snow in winter, I couldn't see the garbage at all. So this challenge was stopped during that time. I just learned trash is really good at hide and seek. Third, there is a habitat for each category of garbage. Animals and plants have a special habitat for themselves to live in. There is also a specific place for garbage to reside in as well. I noticed that the same type of trash usually falls in the same place. For example, a bottle zone, sugar box area, plastic bottle area. I don't know why, but it seems like garbage may also be choosing a place to live like animals or plants. Well, the challenge is approaching the halfway mark. I kept picking up the trash even if it rained a little and in different places. Then one day around the 50th day, I noticed there were less and less trash on the road and it became more difficult to find. I felt so good it was worth the effort. However, the incident occurs on the 57th day when I was working on the road as usual. What? Huge bottles and jars were scattered in the grass. And when I looked behind, there were pickled plums, snake sake, bee sake, and a mysterious drink. I was caught by surprise and couldn't leave that spot because I was so shocked. I thought it was getting cleaner, but I felt like I was back to the drawing board once again. It said that Japan is a very clean place and a few people throw things away on the road, but sadly, some people do things like this. 
But this was a judge report. But I had to move on. From today on, I will defeat the last boss. First of all, a jar. It's heavy. And a big bottle. A pot that seems to be new. Pickled plums that have been pickled before I was born. And another bottle. And this way, in order to defeat the last boss, I picked up each item one by one. The morning of the fifth day after I started to fight the boss, I was working as usual and I found out the boss was defeated. Apparently, while I was out of the village, the people who reside in this area cleaned up trash together. That was so great! In Japan, there's a custom of cleaning the place where we live by ourselves. That's one of the reasons why I like Japan. Well then, I'd like to announce the results. As a result of picking up trash for 66 days, so many things were collected. I divided it into categories such as plastic bottles, grass bottles, sugar boxes, cans, paper caps or bottles, masks, plastic things, and others. So, what were the top three of these types? Are you ready? Third place, sugar boxes and cans. 10 things each. And second place, bottles, including large ones. 11 things. And the first place was plastic bottles. 12 things. Below are masks, paper cups, plastic items, 5 of each. And others were 8. What I felt after the 66 day challenge. With my little effort and the great effort of the villagers, I'm now able to go running on a clean road with no trash. It's an ideal and beautiful road. Even if I'm running, it's very refreshing and comfortable. As you know, Japanese people like beauty. I think it's because Japanese people have known for a long time the impact it would make on our environment and mind. So now I want you to look around your place. If the environment around you is dirty right now, please start cleaning. First clean the room and clean the house and if possible clean the neighborhood. I'm sure your mind will feel refreshed. Cleaning can be hassle in today's busy world. However, I think cleaning and creating a comfortable environment is the first step in making a happy simple life. I'm sure your daily smile will increase a little like me. I'll keep doing this challenge, so if you want, let's do this together and make the world cleaner for our future. I don't have a kids, but for our next generations. So stay safe, have fun, and thank you for watching as usual. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!